worse than I thought, isn't it? Roderick! There you are. Lady Forrester! What's wrong, Mother? It's Griff. He was arguing with the Maester and things got out of hand. I'm coming. What do you mean to do? Th this could be our chance. He's right. We must hurry before things get violent. I want to try talking to him first, see if we can work this out. And if that fails? Just don't forget your promise, Roderick. The rest of my men are still in the grove. They could be here in minutes. Make sure they're ready to do some damage. Sounds like a good time. Let's go. And Arthur. Listen for my signal. I'll strike my cane and I want you to enter. We'll be ready. I'm coming with you. It's not safe. You should wait for your brother. I don't care if it isn't safe. Griff thinks I belong to him. I need to show him I don't. Together, then. Ich hoffe, dass sie nicht dabei drauf geht. Ich habe so eine ganz böse Vorahnung. Obey his new master. And while you're at it, Elena Glenmore, what are you doing with him? You're supposed to be marrying you. Me. I'd rather marry a dead horse. You watch your bloody tongue, or I'll give you what I'm giving the maester. Excuse me? What's going on here, Griff? He's disobedient, just like you were, Roderick, <laughs> before I brought you to heal. So now he's paying the price. Oh, my hand! I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Don't believe you. <laughs> You're not the Lord here, Griff. And I'm tired of you pretending you are. You think I'm fucking pretending? You know what I think? My brother is ready. I think you need another lesson in humility. Just like your maester here. You can watch if you like. Then you'll see who's the man and who's the cripple. <coughs> I've let you off too fucking easily, Roderick. Who gives the orders? What are you waiting for? Kill anyone that moves! You heard him! Stop now! You can't do this! Now then, about humility. Get your hands off me! Maester, are you alright? Yes, I think so. My father. We'll go straight to Roos Bolton. You flay you and your sister and your own fucking family. I did warn you, Griff. You gonna hurt me? Your friends won't be around forever, Roderick. And when they're gone. <laughs> Is this the man you'd rather have? This cripple. Roderick! Enough! That's enough! Are you satisfied? You need to stop. My eye! 
Roderick! No! No, you can't! Why are you protecting him? I'm not protecting him. I'm protecting Ryan. When Lud hears of this, don't you realize what they'll do to him? If you kill Griff, Ryan will be the one to suffer. I made a promise, Mother. I intend to honor it. I want him dead, believe me. But not at the cost of Ryan's life. Besides, he may still be useful to us. It's all right, Roderick. Confine the White Hills to the cellars. No one gets in or out. I can't see. I can't see anything. Word cannot reach High Point. You must be sure of it. Not until we want it to. Kill the ravens. All of them. Wer ist ja jetzt immer noch der Kackverräter? Also ich glaube jetzt nicht mehr, dass es der Meister war, sonst hätten sie nicht so verprügelt. Fuck you and your queen. That's enough! So long as you're in my camp, you will obey my orders. And getting pissed drunk before a mission. Obey? You know what kind of shit brain fool does that? One who wants to fucking die out there! Have you lost your damn mind? I am not some animal in a cage! Well, in the seven bloody hells are you I will you not let about? you bark orders at me! Hey, 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 calm down! Calm down! What's going on here? I'm not the one with the problem. It's him. She can't fight like this, Asher! You think I'm too drunk to fight? What the fuck what do you What are you gonna know? do? Run out there swinging a fucking... Ah! Ah! Still think I can't fight? You fucking bitch! Oh, there we go. Hey, come on, Beska. Leave the poor Let man alone. Let go of me before I break your fingers. Deal with your friend. She'll get us all you killed. You sound scared, Croft. This is bloody important. You afraid your mother will spank you? I will not let you two fuck... I'll talk to her. Good. If she can't hold it together, we're leaving without the both of you. <laughs> you think your little thumbcock can take Marine all by itself? I'd never work with a bloody show like you Best anyway! what the hell is going on? You gonna lecture me too? <gasps> oh, the fuck? Croft doesn't know shit about anything. None of you do. Will you stop trying to hit me? Whatever your problem is with Croft, just let it go. You think this is about Croft? You think I give two shits about what Croft has to say? Uh. Uh, your uh, fucking uncle is the only reason I'm even here. He told your little dragon queen I would go into marine with you. You get me burned by a dragon! Just talk to me, Beska! We're done talking. Come on, Asha. Hit me. Oh, if this was a real fight, you'd be dead. I'm not going to do that! So what, you're gonna kill me because you don't want to go into some fucking city? I was a slave! Here, in this fucking city! I was taken from my home when I was only three years old. When I was seven, my master threw me in the fighting pits to die. When my master tired of watching me kill animals for sport, he started... He started sending other children. I butchered every one of them. I... After a while, I thought the fear was gone. But you had no choice. I did. I decided my life was worth saving. A 
but theirs were not. There was this boy. We used to play five stones in the alley when we couldn't sleep. When I saw him next, he was in that pit with me. I saw the fear in his eyes. That same fear I felt my first time. And I realized it hadn't left me. I still wanted to live. I wanted it so badly. My master watched as I did it, smiling. I'm... I'm, I'm so sorry, Beska. I don't want your pity. I bought my freedom a long time ago, but I have always hated this place. Hated him. Dezor so Raza. Because of that man. Marine is a city of dead children. Don't worry about me. I won't let you down. Come on. You've had enough. Let me say that. in there, Sarah. I know I'm not supposed to attend, but then you know Lady Marjorie doesn't want to see you. What could be so important? Lord Whitehill is up to something. He's conspiring against my family. And someone in there is helping him. Lady Marjorie would be furious, Mira. I can't. I'm sorry. I want to help you, but I can't risk it. You said you'd help me, remember? And I've been trying. But this isn't going to help your situation. Are you sure you want to risk it? I have to. <sighs> All right. You owe me for this. She's with me. We'll stay out of trouble. I promise. Feels a bit strange to celebrate, doesn't it? Not so long ago, King Joffrey sat on the Iron Throne. Tommen is our king now. Long may he reign. Sarah! I was worried you'd run off with your friend there. And what if I did? I'm not sure I could blame you. This is Lady Mira Forrester. Mira, Lord Garibald Tarwick. She's quite lovely. Where have you been hiding her? You're making her blush. Sorry, Mira. <laughs> you flatter me. Sarah's lovelier than us all. I won't argue there. It's quite a feast, isn't it? Just be careful around the wine. I hear you're partial to a particular arbor red. It's easy to forget. Nothing you do in King's Landing goes unnoticed. Drink too much once and you're forever the drunken fool. Talk to the wrong people. Oh, and... Lord Tarwick! <laughs> what was that about? Nothing. That subject isn't fit for your delicate ears anyway. <gasps> My ears are not delicate. Of course they are. Look how tiny they are. <laughs> Little lobes. <Stop> it. <laughs> what? I mean it. Someone caught your eye, Mira? Mm. 
My apologies. I just noticed Lords Andros and Morgren over there. What a shame. Ruining a perfectly good afternoon with that nonsense. Perhaps someone should encourage them to argue elsewhere. If you'll excuse me. This reminds me of the tourney at Lannisport. You wouldn't believe that... You told me this story. But you would have loved it. We danced all evening, drank wine from our helmets... That and... is it! Andros, you're being ridiculous! It is a lot, but I know how to spend it. Hmm. But how did you manage it? Lord Whitehill trusts me above all others. That's why I'm the only one he's willing to work with. Oh, an exclusive deal. How good for you, Andros. Well, I've got my family to consider. When's the last time you even saw your wife, Andros? stop dealing ironwood. Mm, is there no longer a demand for it? I can't imagine that would be the case. <sighs> no need for such wild speculation. I've simply lost interest. I'm moving on to better things, as they say. Hmm, and what would that be? <laughs> no, no, no. I can see what you're doing. I'm not giving away my secrets just yet. Oh, I can't remember. I, I think it was a bird. Mm, close. A cock. That's it. <laughs> no. Okay, das ist nicht allzu wichtig alles. I heard he was killed. Right here in the garden. Well. Wasn't he a Lannister? One of their guard, but still. Oh, surely they found who did it. No, they haven't caught him yet. Not for lack of effort, mind you. I hear they've spared no expense. Have you heard of the news? I have. Let's not also, den Typen direkt anzusprechen macht ja keinen Sinn. Also diesen Andros, wenn der direkt damit zu tun hat, dann ist der einzige Ausweg dieser Morgan. <lacht> <lacht> Oh, please, if you'll excuse me. <laughs> Lady Mira, I'm impressed. Impressed with what? That you aren't currently locked in a cell. I trust this means that you took care of that contract. How did you do it, if I may ask? I wasn't expecting to see you again, if I'm being honest. You must have made quick work of it. Wouldn't you like to know? All right. You can keep your secrets. I do believe King's Landing is rubbing off on you. So, what have you been up to? Enjoying yourself? Though I suppose if you're talking to me, you must want something. When we first met, you were negotiating for Lord Whitehill. That's right. But now Lord Andros seems to think he's the only one working for him. So what happened? It appears that you know most of the story already. I've been pushed out of the ironwood business. Oh. All thanks to my partner, bloody imbecile. Andros is now Lud Whitehill's exclusive contact in King's Landing. No matter the fact that I introduced them in the first place, that man would be nothing without me. Do you know what Lord Andros is planning? He's acquired a large amount of gold, but I haven't the slightest idea what he intends to buy with it. Whatever it is, He's managed to get a Lannister involved. A Lannister? Lyman. He may only be a third cousin. 
but he's a Lannister all the same. <laughs> Rickard, are you done flirting with that handmaiden? We need your opinion here. <laughs> Leave him alone. Please excuse me. Nein. And a Lannister, too. Uh, I thought we were done talking about this. You asked me about my friends. Uh, friends, yes. Lyman is your business partner. What's the difference? Uh, fair enough, Andros. And if my friends happen to protect me from the crown, all the better. <laughs> I think I need more wine. Excuse me. Lyman Lannister? Ah. Shit! You startled me. As if I don't already have enough to deal with. Here, let me help. That's very kind of you. Thank you. But I'm fine. I just get clumsy sometimes. I'm... I'm afraid you have me at a disadvantage, Lady... Mira. Lady Mira. I'm not used to being approached so boldly, but I'm glad you did. I always feel a bit out of place at big gatherings like this. So, what brings you over here? I'm not the best company, I'm afraid. Or were you headed for the wine and I got in your way? From what I hear, you're in the business of making rather important deals happen. Well, I don't know about that. Come on. Don't be modest. I... I really shouldn't talk about it. Andros came to me in confidence. You understand. He wouldn't be pleased, I'm sure. I'm sorry. You can trust me, Lord Lyman. I won't tell anyone. I... well... I suppose Lyman! I could just... What do you think you're doing? What? Nothing. You stay away from him! Andros! We were just talking! You were just talking to Mira Forrester! Forrester? I... I didn't realize. My lord? Let me say this as plainly as I can. Don't ever meddle in my affairs again! <laughs> oh, 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 Forsakti. Lady Marjorie. Lady Marjorie. Lady Mira? That was quite a scene over there. Are you all right? I'm fine. I can handle Lord Andros. It's Lyman I was worried about. What do you mean? Honestly, that story isn't fit for a maiden's ears. Just be careful around him. All right? Just tell me, Lord Tarwick. It's important. I may be willing to tell you. If you'll first tell me something about Sarah. Your help could save me a lot of embarrassment. I'd be very grateful, Lady Mira. What do you want to know about Sarah? Sarah Durwell. Interesting name, that. Funny thing is, the last Durwells died off almost 200 years ago. What can you tell me about her family? Something isn't quite right, but I'm not sure. You must understand, I can't court a woman just because I like the way she laughs. I need to know her family. 
her parentage. That is unfortunately the way things are. I really couldn't say, my lord. Spare me the pretense. You know her as well as anybody. Now tell me the truth. Please, Lady Mira. I've met the Durwells when I was at Highgarden. Oh? They're a small house these days, but very well regarded. Ah, right. Well, that's a relief. For a moment, I thought... And now, Lord Tarwick, it's your turn. Right. Lyman Lannister. Ten years ago, Lyman was injured at the tourney at Lannisport. He took a bad fall from his horse, needed milk of the poppy for weeks just to keep from screaming. Oh. And between us, he's never stopped drinking the stuff. Can't stop, actually. He spent all his money trying to get more. The man can't go a day without it. So that's why he shakes. You mustn't repeat that, Lady Mira. I shouldn't even know about it. Besides, Lyman suffered enough embarrassment. And every man's entitled to his secrets. Then why did you tell me? Because of... Well, maybe I shouldn't have. I'd hate for Lord Andros to trace this back to me. You learned that from Andros? The man's mouth is bigger than the Blackwater. Poor Lyman has no idea. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have some arrangements to make. Lady Mira? I've already told you, and didn't we agree to stop talking business? All right, Ricard. How about something more personal, then? Oh, you're calling me Ricard now. Well, when are you going to get married? <laughs> <laughs> Isla! <laughs> that took a turn, didn't it? Let's go to the wine. Maybe he can ja the den Typen irgendwas zusammenbauen, that he's dead. Then has the Andros no one more der irgendwie verbürgen kann oder partnertechnisch, wisst ihr? Everyone is talking about you, Lady Mira. Lord Andros is rather loud. The look on his face. Whatever you did to make him so angry, I applaud you for it. I have to be going. Okay, falsche Idee. Den kann ich nicht mehr, der ist vorsichtig. Ich noch mal mit ihm sprechen. Lord Lyman, we really need to talk. I know what you're up to. I won't discuss my business with Andros, so please, please, just leave me alone. You've landed me in enough trouble. Just, just leave. Just be quiet, Lyman. Either tell me what you want, or go bother someone else. I don't have to stand here and take this. Lord Andros has betrayed you. I know everything. What? What do you... The milk of the poppy. You drink it like wine. Ever since your injury at Lannisport. He wouldn't... Andros wouldn't... He's not your friend. He's been using you. I trusted him. He spilled your secrets, so why not spill his? Yeah, come. Horos. Andros is hiring cell swords, hundreds of them. What? He's building an army for Lord Whitehill, big enough to march against Ironrath. But Andros is doing it in secret. No one knows, or at least. He doesn't want anyone to know. I told him I'd keep quiet, but... And you're helping him? Yes, I've helped gather the men, but that doesn't... You bloody traitor! 
You promised me. Then you told everyone? What are you talking about? You're a liar. I should never have trusted you. She told me everything. Lady Mira, you've just made a very grave error. Very grave indeed. You realize that, I hope. Don't be so bloody dramatic, because I'm just getting started. Oh. Die Zofe, den wir ordentlich in die Eier getreten gerade. Oh, die ist schon schon wieder ganz vergessen. You sure you know where you're going? Cotter? Let's see that map again. So you're asking now, are you? Surprised you haven't taken it from my pocket already. How much food we got left? Here we are. Carried. How's the food? Well, this won't last much longer. If Finn wasn't eating all of it. It's not me. I will have to stop soon, look for some food. We're on the right track. This way. You stay here. I'll try and talk to her. I'm one of them. Wait, what? He's a fucking wildling, Cotter! They might kick me around a little, but whatever you do, don't come out, all right? She has to think I'm alone. If she sees you, you'll only make things worse. Good on, Ting. No, I'm, uh, I'm a friend. I grew up near Ardhorn. You know it? I won't hurt you. All right. You won't. I'm one of you. I'm... Oh! oh. You sure look like a crow oh, to I'm me. Not. You're dressed like one. You out here all alone, little pup. Come out or I'll kill your friend! Or I'll make him scream first. Listen! I don't want to fight. Then you shouldn't have come here. He'll be all right. Won't he? Ah! Ah! Oh! Stop! Please! You don't like it? You best hope your little crow brothers come looking for you soon. Kill them!
that. Our food! Hey! Garrett! Garrett, no! She's not fighting you! It's over! Just don't do it! Those the last of our supplies. We can't stay here. You're hurt. Come on. We can rest up ahead. Oh, man. Wie soll der jetzt noch durchhalten? I thought I'd feel better seeing Griff dragged out of the Great Hall like that. You wanted to kill him, didn't you? How did you know when to stop? I don't think I could have. I suppose that's why you're the Lord. And I'm... It's hard to know what's right. You never really know for sure. What do you think Lord Whitehill will do when he hears? If he truly has a spy... He won't know of this. Not until we want him to. The gates are barred and every raven in the rookery is dead. My lord, there's been a message from High Point. Lord Whitehill invites you to discuss a truce. He wants to make peace. As if we're that naive. Maybe this is an opportunity. A way to get behind their walls. And do what? You'd be putting yourself in danger, Roderick. She's right. What do you hope to accomplish? We could get Ryan back. This could be our chance. You're right. Now that we have Griff, we can propose a trade. A trade? His son for my brother. Then we have a plan. We'll leave first thing tomorrow morning. If you're going ahead with this, at least bring the Glenmore soldiers. We obviously need them here. You can't mean for Roderick to travel unprotected. What if the White Hills attack Ironrath while he's gone? My lord, you cannot go into an enemy stronghold unprotected. Nor can you leave Ironrath vulnerable. We have small folk soldiers. Ironrath is ours again. The Glenmores will ensure it stays that way. Let Arthur know at once. Yes, my lord. I'll start making the preparations. To think that one of them might be spying for the White Hills. Duncan wanted you to travel to High Point without any protection. Yet Royland would leave Ironrath defenseless. Well, I'll need an advisor with me at High Point. By rights, it should be your sentinel. But if we're going to an enemy stronghold, maybe you'd best take Sir Royland. It's meant to be a negotiation, not a battle. How could any of them betray us? I've known these people my whole life. I wish I knew. Still, we can bring only one. We have to leave someone in charge of the keep while we're gone. Duncan's my sentinel. He comes to High Point. Royland can stay here and defend Ironrath. Very well. Roderick, I know I can't come to High Point, but I can't just sit around and do nothing. I want to help. Please, I'll do anything you ask of me, even something dangerous. Talia, I may be leaving you here with a traitor. Find out who it is. Find proof if you can. I'll... I'll do my best. I have faith in you, Talia. Das mit dem Verräter wird noch echt ein Spaß. I've known ich. Lud Whitehill a long time. He's selfish, greedy and arrogant. But he'd never kill a guest in his own home. At least, I don't think he would. I hope you're right, Mother. I think immer, dass es der Roland, wie auch immer der heißt, ist.
Welcome. Don't worry about me. Focus on the mission. Your family needs you. That's what matters right now. I know. I won't fail them. You'll make them proud. Good luck, my boy. Shall we begin? Listen up! There are four of these guard posts throughout the city. They'll use them to warn the masters in case the slaves decide they're tired of wearing chains. We're here to make sure they don't see it coming. Therund, you take the north. Penn, the south. Asher, we'll take the east. And Kirin will cover the west. Make the enemy blind. Give the Unsullied a chance to get in and arm the slaves. The rest is up to them. Don't get cocky out there. One mistake, and the man You remember when we stole that giant war hammer? Get in, do what that you woman have to in do, lease. and get your people Didn't out she hit you in the face with it? That's all you I need never to thought my head could feel any You worse. got that. Tonight, any man who wishes to be free may take that freedom from the grip of his master. You will clear a path for them, but they must walk it alone. Justice belongs to the people of Marine. Do not make them wait any longer. <sighs> what does she know of justice? Is there a problem? If you can't do this, tell me now. The Masters will be judged by the people of Marine, not by you. You don't have to worry about us. Just point us at the people you want dead. We'll take it from there. You enjoy this far more than you should. Kill only those you must. You will both do as Croft commands. Follow his orders exactly, or you will get nothing. Now go. Show them the hell they have made here. Oi, oi, oi. I hoped I'd never see this place again. Tried to run once. Didn't make it very far. Which way? There's a path around there. Avoids the main street. Let's just get this over with. What's the matter, Croft? You see how many guards are out there? How were you expecting to get past them? We'll be caught. You asked me which way. This is it. Then we'll stay out of sight. Follow me. Can you see anyone? Cover me. Blood. Uh -oh. 
Oh. Been used recently. There's our target. We should hurry. We have to go. There's something I have to do. Beska, what are you doing? Do you trust me, Asha? We don't have time for this! Just tell me! Do you trust me? I need to know. Now you're worrying me, Beska. What is going on? Don't worry. It'll be fine soon enough. Beska! Where are you going? Follow her! The man who forced me to... I'm going to kill you! Don't do this, Beska. You don't have to kill him. I can't let him live. You of all people should know that. Have you lost your mind? I'm ordering you to back away. <sighs> My best guy. I am not. Get him go. What are you doing? I shoot. You will do as I say. Both of you, take her weapon. I need to do this, Asha. After everything he's done. And he'll pay for it. Once the city is free, he will be punished. Punished by a queen who has no right to. His life means nothing to her. She does not speak for the children who died in those pits. Asha, stop her! I will get their justice. I won't let you ruin this for me. You heard what Daenerys said. Let go of me. I'm doing this, Asha. Take your hand off me. Please, for me. I've done all of this for you. I came here for you. Damn you, Asha. Wait! Come! We might just make it out of this alive yet. She's just getting started. 